Hello friends, welcome back to G-Centric. So in the previous lecture, we have completed about charges and current. In this lecture, we will see voltage, definition of voltage, its mathematical formulas. Okay. So voltage is also called as EMF potential difference and this concept was first given by Alessandro Antonio Volta. So after this scientist name, we have kept the unit of voltage as volts. Now if you take a conducting medium, how in the previous lecture we have seen it, a conductor which is connected to the battery and it has got electrons in it, this is plus and minus, okay. So the current will flow from this direction, positive terminal. Now for this electrons to move in a particular direction, we need alignment, we need some external force for the flow of these electrons. So if it has to flow in this direction, when the current is in this direction, then some external force is required and that is given by this battery. So it is in the form of battery. So this battery we can call it as EMF that is electromotive force. So this force is responsible for the movement of flow of electrons in a particular direction. So we will define what is voltage now. So according to this if we see the work done, the work done in moving a unit positive charge, unit positive charge from infinity to some reference point or some point. It we will call this as voltage EMF or potential difference. So this is the basic definition that we have already learnt in our uh, PUC and uh, engineer first year of engineering. So this is the basic definition. Now according to this definition, we can mathematically write the uh, equation for voltage as V is equal to dW upon dQ or we can also write as capital W upon capital Q. So you, we use this formula when we are given DC values and we will use this formula if we need an instantaneous voltage. So what will be the unit of this? Work is measured in joules and charges are measured in coulombs. Okay, so it is joules per coulomb or after the name of the scientist we can write it as volt. Now we are we have encountered with two terms that is potential difference and EMF. There is a slight difference between these two terms. Now we will see we will take two cases to understand what is the difference between the word EMF and the word potential difference. If I take a voltage source of 2 volt and a resistor, a resistor of 2 ohms and these are the two terminals where we have to define the, where we have to find the potential difference plus minus V. Now if you see this, if you observe this circuit, we can see that it is an open circuit. So there won't be flow of electric current in this circuit, it will be 0. So what is the EMF? EMF is equal to 2 volts. And the, since it is an open circuit, there is no flow of current, I is equal to 0. Now if you want to take the voltage drop across this, we have to use the Ohm's law where I is equal to V, sorry V is equal to I into R and if you substitute I is equal to 0, you will get 0 volt drop across this 2 ohm resistor. So whatever the voltage is here across this source, it will be same because there is no drop across this. 2 ohm resistor. Hence the potential difference is 2 volts. And what is the R equivalent? R equivalent is 2 ohms. So this is the open circuit case and this is the first one. 
Now, if same circuit, if we modify to a closed circuit, we'll take here plus minus two volts and the resistor two ohm as it is. We'll short this. Sorry, we'll not short. We will join this with two ohm resistor. Okay, so this is for, uh, terminal A and this is terminal B. So, we need to find the voltage across these two terminals plus minus plus min minus. So, the current flows now since it is a closed circuit the current will flow in the circuit. So, to find the uh, current how much current flows in the circuit we will use this formula. So, EMF is 2 volt now, since the current we have, we will find it by using Ohm's law. So, I is equal to V upon R. So, the total voltage here is source voltage is 2 volts and R equivalent. So, R equivalent since it is in series, we will add this to. So, 2 plus 2 that is 4. One, uh, 2 upon 4 is 1 upon 2 ampere. So, this much amount of current flows through this circuit. Now, to find the voltage drop that is the potential difference across these two terminals, we can use the Ohm's law again that is V is equal to I into R where I is equal to half ampere and R is 2. So, we will get potential difference across this is 1 volt. Okay. Now, if you observe this and here R equivalent is 4 ohms. Okay, so, this is the R equivalent. Now, if we observe this the EMF remains same that is 2 volt and 2 volt whereas, this is open circuit and this is closed circuit. So, the potential difference across this appears as same as the EMF. Okay, so, that is 2 volts whereas, here since it is a closed circuit and a resistor is connected here you will get different value that is the potential difference. Okay, the R equivalent here it is 2 ohm and here it is 4 ohm. So, we can conclude that this is independent of the values of current and resistors whereas, this potential difference is dependent on resistor and current value. Now, basically what is the meaning of potential difference? So, if you want to take a difference you take it between the two points. So, here is the two points A and B you will take the difference of that voltage. So, that is the reason we call it as potential difference. Now, we will sum up this and we will make a table to see the differences between EMF and voltage. Okay? We will take EMF and potential difference. So, what is the difference between two? So, first point is EMF is the cause for the cause in the circuit whereas, potential difference is the effect due to this cause ok effect in the circuit and the second point is it is independent independent of the values of current and resistors ok whereas, this potential difference it is dependent. So, dependent on the values of current and resistors. The third point is you can see that this is the source EMF is the source source for the circuit ok. Whereas, potential difference it is the part of the circuit. So, part of circuit. Okay, so, this is the differences between EMF and potential difference. So, next we will move on to the uh, next topic that is energy and power. Okay, so, this is the last topic in our unit 1 that is power and energy. Now, if you go to a shop and ask for a 20 watt, 20 watt bulb or 40 watt bulb, the shopkeeper will give you the bulbs. Now, which, which bulb glows brighter? It is obvious that the smaller the power unit it will be less brighter. The more the power more brighter it glows. Okay, so, to define this power we can 
define it as rate of this is defined as rate of change of energy. So, this is rate of change of energy. Okay. So, this is the definition of the power. So, mathematically we will represent it as P is equal to dW by dt. Now, this is uh, since rate has come we, we will uh, this quantity is varying with respect to time. Now, this can be split into or we will divide into dq upon dw by dt we will multiply and divide it by dq. Okay. So, if there will not be any difference as this will cancel out. Now, this term dw upon dq it is the dw upon dq and dq upon dt. So, now if you have, uh, if you have seen the voltage formula then this represents voltage and this term it represents current. Okay. So, power is nothing but the product of voltage and current. This, this is the absolute values when DC power is given we will use this otherwise we will take instantaneous power that is P into T is equal to V of T into I of T. Okay. So, this is the formula for power. You can substitute either with this one if work is given then we can substitute this or you can take this formula. So, what does its unit become? It is joules per second or is in watts. So, this unit watts has got various subunits that is like milliwatt which is measured in 10 power minus 3, then you can take um, microwatts which is measured in 10 to the power minus 6 and nano watt which is measured in 10 to the power minus 9. This is the smaller units. You can also take bigger units like kilowatt measured in 10 to the power 3, then megawatts which is measured in 10 to the power 6 and gigawatt which is measured in 10 to the power 9 terms. So, these are all the bigger units and these are all the smaller units. Now, coming to this energy part, okay, before going into energy part, we have um, the sign convention for power. So, what is that? If the direction, if the here it is, if the direction of current is in this direction and entering into the positive terminal, then we will call this as positive power. So, even V is positive and current is positive. Okay. So, this is called as positive power and we say that this element since, since the current is entering into this terminal positive terminal we say that power is being observed. Okay. Now, if similarly if it was in the opposite direction. Okay. If this was in the opposite direction, if the current is flowing opposite to the previous one, then we say this as power is negative and it is supplying the power or one more it's delivering, delivering the power. Okay. So, if the direction is opposite, if the current is leaving the positive terminal, we say it as negative power. So, this uh, uh, power observed and power delivered will be equal in a circuit. So, if you add them together, you should get the net power is equal to 0. Okay? So, this is about the power. Now, coming to this energy part, if you have seen every month we pay electricity bill. Okay? So, in that electricity bill, we observe that how much power we use that much for that time period energy will be calculated. So, basically energy is the capacity to do work. So, energy is capacity 
to do work okay so this is the definition of the energy so from power formula we can take this so we know power is equal to dw upon dt okay so this is the energy so we will cross multiply dw is equal to p of t into dt integrate on both the sides you will get energy is equal to p of t into dt okay now so you can see that this energy is nothing but the product of power into time so more power you use for more the time you use the electricity for that time it will be multiplied with this period okay now this power can also we can write it as v of t into i of t into dt so in the previous uh, lecture you have seen that in, in the previous power uh, definition we have seen that it is also power is the product of voltage and current so that is the reason we have substituted v of t into i of t now this is for instantaneous uh, energy now if you want for dc values then you can write this as v into i into t so and in which it is multiplied energy is mul uh, is measured in joules so the unit becomes joules okay so this is the definition of the energy and the mathematical calculation for the energy so this completes our first unit the basic concepts so in first unit we have seen uh, fundamental units that is si unit system then after that we have seen charges and current and this is the last topic uh, sorry even uh, we have seen the third topic that is voltage emf and potential difference we have understood that emf is uh, there is a slight difference between emf and potential difference and this is the last topic that is power and energy so this completes our first unit and from next unit we'll start from the next lecture onwards we'll start the next unit thank you